While some boards are meant to be ridden, others are meant to be ridden and then promptly placed back in the recesses of surf mythology. In this week's edition of Butter Knives, Holly Wan and Shane Sykes find a hand shape with more history under its glass than an art museum. I actually saw the board and it was pretty thin and the fins looked kind of crazy placement, but Nate Fletch is known for, you know, some unorthodox surfing and designs. So curious to see how these guys went. Hey, I'm Holly Warren. We're here at Nate Fletcher's house. Uh, we're gonna have a look under his house and see if he's got any surfboards so I can take one for a spin. Hi, Nate. Morning, Holly. How are you going? <laughs> yeah, good. good. afternoon. So we'll go over here into this other side of this show deal. You could ride some of those if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Pile of garbage over there. Okay, Holly, you got a job. Yeah. You're gonna get, this Hold is this overtime, up. but be careful. It's gonna fall apart at any given second, so. I got the middle one. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be extra small. You're gonna have to clean it. Let's see this one too. They're all small. But this is a board. Yeah, you really gotta clean that. But I shaped it, Barney painted it. Probably rides pretty bad. <laughs> Perfect. It was right around there, 2009. And I shaped it at Brett's or at Mickey's house, Mickey Nielsen's house, because I had a shaping room there. Barney came over and did it, and then he painted it. Those are like girl legs. But it does mean a lot, because we spent a lot of time on this. Barney's passed away, and he was definitely one of my favorite surfers. One of the most creative surfers of all time. There it is, uh, live and direct. It needs a gurney. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I guess I just want to clean it up and return it to its former glory. Well, I picked up the board and I was like, Shit, Nate's hand shape, pretty sick. Thing's pretty small though. It's gotten dehydrated with age, like sunken. Kind of sinks when you lie on it. I don't know. It's got some weird <laughs> going on. But <laughs> Pretty sick on your backside, and then you went to a turn, and it would like shoot up the face, or shoot like when you come back down and you got a bit of speed, it like just wanted to run away. And I don't know, it's just nice to ride something that Barney painted, Nate shaped. It's just like feels special. And everyone was looking at it, going like, "What is that thing?" And I'm like, "It's Nate's hand shape." And they're like, "What?" And then Shano jumped on it for a couple of waves, the other Arvo, and he said he was getting a couple, but it definitely felt better on his backside. So maybe it's like goes left better. Yeah, I was super stoked to get the opportunity to ride that hand shape of Nate. I wanted to like take it to Halleva or something and really give it a give it a go. It was a bit small but like you could it just felt some good energy in that board for sure. going on but it definitely is nice to ride something with a bit of time stamped history and like feel privileged to have ridden it and I wanted to go back under the house. I don't want anyone to break it. <laughs> Next up we have documentation of the exciting and sometimes dangerous experiments that occurred at one of the North Shore's most dangerous test labs over the holidays. Dylan you went home to Oz for a couple weeks were you feeling any FOMO while you were away? Yeah definitely I mean saw some crazy rides from all the boys and girls over here kind of getting warmed up for the triple crown and the backdoor shootout that's coming up. Definitely tripping on that Joey Johnson ride. <laughs> I think um, everyone was. Yeah, Leo Fioro Avanti's ride at Pipe was pretty insane. Yeah, I, I mean, it's always hard to watch waves like that, but uh, I'm, you know, back now and stoked to get amongst it. 